How's it going everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just wanted to come on here for a while and give him a review for All Elite Wrestling's AW Dark Elevation from tonight, which is November 29th, 2021. I gotta say it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was Nyla Rose, Diamante, The Bunny, and Emi Sakura versus Julia Hart, Sky Blue, Layla Hirsch, and Ryo Mizunami. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Nyla Rose, Diamante, The Bunny, and Emi Sakura went over because Nyla Rose pinned Julia Hart by the Beast Bomb. Match two, match two it was Anna Jay and Ty Conti versus Alice Crawley and Missa Kate. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Anna Jay and Ty Conti went over because Anna Jay made Alice Crawley tap out to the Queen Slayer. Match three, it was Proud and Powerful, which are Santana and Ortiz versus Isaiah Moore and Brayden Lee. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Proud and Powerful went over because Santana pinned Isaiah Moore with the discus clothesline. That was match three, by the way. Match four, it was Tony Nice versus... Wait, match four... Match four, it was Tony Nice versus Vic Capri. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Tony Nice went over with the pump handle set out pile driver. That was match four, by the way. Match five, it was the Hardy family office, which are Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy, and The Blade versus The Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, and Five. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the Hardy family office went over because Matt Hardy pinned Five with the twist of fate. But before the match, the Hardy family office attacked the Dark Order from behind and beat the shit out of them before the match started and everything. That was cool. Um, that was match five, by the way. Match six, it was Jay Lethal versus Trenton Storm. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Jay Lethal went over with the lethal injection. That was match six, by the way. And match seven, which was the main event, it was the Dark Order, which are John Silver and Alex Reynolds and... The Varsity Blondes, which are Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison, versus Chaos Project, which are Luther and Serpentico, and The Acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens. That was a great match, but the ending to it, The Dark Order and The Varsity Blondes went over because John Silver pinned Serpentico with The Spin Doctor. Well, before the match... The Dark War, well, before the match, the Varsity Blondes, which are Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison, along with Julia Hart and the Dark Order, which are John Silver and Alex Reynolds, came out. Then Chaos Project, which are Luther and Serpentico, came out. And then The Acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens, came out. And when all the teams were out, Max, Ca Max Caster done a rap on the Dark Order and the Varsity Blondes, and Anthony Bowens said his signature line, Chicago, the acclaimed have arrived. That was cool. That was before the match, by the way. Now, there were no matches. Wait, 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 wait a minute. There were no promos and segments. There were no promos or segments on this episode of All Elite Wrestling's AW Dark Elevation. So, besides the matches, Excalibur and Paul White done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. 
Eddie Kingston done guest commentary along with Excalibur and Paul White during the matches of Nyla Rose, Diamante, The Bunny, and Emi Sakura versus Julia Hart, Sky Blue, Layla Hirsch, and Ryo Mizunami, Anna, Anna J and Ty Conti versus Alice Crawley and Missa Kate, Proud and Powerful versus Isaiah Moore and Brayden Lee, Tony Nice and Tony Nice versus Vic Capri. Eddie Kingston done great on guest commentary. And Mark Henry done guest commentary along with Excalibur and Paul White during the match during the match of the Hardy Family Office versus the Dark Order, Jay Lethal versus Trenton Storm, and the Dark Order and the Varsity Blondes versus Chaos Project and the Acclaimed. Mark Henry done great on guest commentary. And the only reason Excalibur was doing commentary this week instead of Tony, Tony Schiavone is because Ex, Excalibur was filling in for Tony Schiavone because Tony Schiavone had an obligation for something else. Like, had, I think he had to do his taxes or something like that. So, yeah. That's the reason why Excalibur was on commentary on a, All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark Elevation this week. But hopefully Tony Schiavone will be back next week. And the referees for the event were Mike Posey, Rick Knox, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsberg, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Mike Posey refereed the match between... Nyla Rose, Diamante, The Bunny, and Emi Sakura versus Julia Hart, Sky Blue, Layla Hirsch, and Ryo Mizunami. Paul Turner, well that was Mike Posey by the way. Paul Turner refereed the match between Anna Jay and Ty Conti versus Alice Crawley and Missa Kate. Rick, Rick Knox refereed the match between Proud and Powerful versus Isaiah Moore and... Braden Lee, Aubrey, Aubrey, that was Rick Knox, by the way. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Tony Nice versus Vic Capri. Paul Turner refereed the match between the Hardy Family Office versus the Dark Order. That was Paul Turner, by the way. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Jay Lethal versus. Trenton Storm, and that was Bryce Rimsberg, by the way. And Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between the Dark Order and the Varsity Blondes versus Chaos Project and the Acclaimed. All the referees done awesome as usual. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AW Dark Elevation from tonight, which is November 29th, 2021. Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace. Out.